came to my pre op appointment. They're about to show me my titties. So, I'll let y'all see in a little bit. I have not been in a lot of pain. I have not had to take my narcotics. So, I'm grateful for that. My nose been Um, Yeah. <laughs> so, see y'all in a little bit. So, I went to my pre op. My breasts are beautiful. I'm going to insert it. Um, the right breast isn't, it has a hematoma. So he has to, he has to go in, clear out all of the blood and then put a drain in. And that has to happen in two days for, so for two days, I got to have this right breast that's bigger than the left breast because it's, you know, but they are so pretty. Like they're pretty from the beginning. So I know they're going to be pretty when they settle. I'm excited. I'm checking in for my second procedure. Yeah, it's so bad. Well, the doctor Mass didn't do it. The other doctor did. I can't yeah, remember yeah, the his name. Yeah, yeah, the resident. Yeah, that's who Got came you. by here too. Got you. Um, you know what though? At least those are meds. Actually, everything they're letting them electronically send now. Okay. So, but still. I could see what I could find out okay. if they're still here. All right. We only have one case over here, but he might they might be back over there. Gotcha. Oh Phil is Phil is what? Okay. Yeah, and then she had like nine gallon pants, so she should be fine. Yeah, 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 you're good. She said she was thirsty. I don't know what you What's that? She said she was thirsty. I don't know where you get the water from. I can't hear you. I'm sorry. She was, she's thirsty. I don't know oh, where yes, you get yes. the water yeah, from. Oh, yes, yes. Yeah, absolutely. the water from. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, we have all kinds of stuff. Um, let me check your sugar. But if you want water for now, mm -hmm. I can go grab that for now so you're not waiting. Okay, yeah, we'll get water. Did you want anything? No, I'm good. Yeah, thank you. Okay, no problem. I'll be right back. What you want to say to your YouTube people? <laughs> the drain through that hole. Hmm? It's a drain through that hole. I can't see the end of it. It don't look like it though. Maybe I could be wrong though. They said everything went well and they cleaned it out. That's good. I better have sensation in my nipple. Stop. <laughs> so, if you'd like, I can raise your head up a little. Would you like the pillow? Or are you good there? Good. You're good? Okay. Yeah, that's why I got you the straw on purpose, because I know. If you want your, like I said, you want to be raised up, you let me know. You got a pillow. Let's take these little things off. And... Do you remember what your blood sugar was, Priya? 100. Okay. That's a good one. That's my <laughs> glucose, yeah. Yeah, right. Mm -hmm. Are you having any pain? So you look great. It's a little tender in my boob. A little tender, okay. Yeah, I don't have that. And on a scale of one to 10, you know, 10 being the most pain, five being in the middle, what would you say it is? Four. Oh, okay. Good. I don't feel as sleepy as I felt the last time. All right, you ready to go? <laughs> they probably didn't have to give you a 
this much drugs this is the last time because the procedure wasn't this long. Feel me? Pad, this side don't need no maxi pad. I know. They ain't putting on nowhere. It wasn't leaking on that. I know. I told you right. They're gonna be like, who's doing that? Get away from me. <laughs> And if it's one of my back, I want it gone today. <laughs> How long was I gone? You said like 45 minutes. Yep, something like that. Excuse me. They talking about pulling them over there? I'm sorry? You got to poke my finger, huh? Well, yeah. I was going to say, I can act. Yeah, we were going to check you again. They checked you in pre op? Mm -hmm. Okay. So, yeah, she got to check you again. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Let me take care. I don't think they should even check people again if they have good sugar. <laughs> You had good sugar and pre-op. <laughs> okay, so are you familiar with the drains at all? Because I can go over that part with you. You have a drain. I know I have, but I'm not familiar. Yeah, no problem. I will do teaching with you. So let's go ahead and start going over instructions. Here, cover you back up. So what's easy is this sports bra is going to stay on until your first post-op visit, mm -hmm. um, which is Monday. I understand mm -hmm. it to be. Um, and but you, what you are going to do I know you have I need to show you how to empty the drain mm -hmm. and I think it's a great idea too to keep track of the amount mm -hmm. they usually want you to do that we, have a, a, we have a lot we have a lot oh, I thought that was good. Never mind. Did, did we get a drain kit Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I thought I did. But yeah, it, could you get me one? All right, thank you. Okay, so um, once she brings that over, I'll show you. So what they do, the whole point of the drain is to help everything to heal, and it's not sitting there accumulating in your surgical site. Um, and based on the amount that, you, that you're draining is how they determine if they're going to pull it out on Monday. So we're going to give you a kit and I would write it down how much and the cups are actually obviously have the measurements on it where you can see. Um, so I'm going to do it for you now and then you could do it again before bed. Mm -hmm. You know, if you need to do it before bed, mm -hmm. sure. But I mean, it's going on four o'clock. So mm -hmm. I think you'd be good just to do it again before bed. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, in the morning and then maybe midday, we'll see what the instruction, we'll see what they say. If they're even telling us sometimes they're they don't put that in there and we have to just kind of tell you guys, but. Okay, yes, he does say, of course, like I said, leave the dressing on until told otherwise. You're gonna be able to shower after the post-op visit. But oh, now, Monday. Monday. Yeah, cause you need to keep that on and keep it dry. So the only bathing you could do right now is like, washcloths like damp cloth like mm. here's a soap you know just wash all the other areas mm. but keep that dressing and sports bra on yeah um <laughs> so i gotta take whole baths basically 
You know, the whole bag of this. Yeah, you're not. not you. What kind of bag? <laughs> oh. A whole bag. <laughs> <laughs> So, right? I gotta like just wash every. Don't get this wet and just yes. wash. Okay. Yes. I'll hold that. Okay. So after mm -hmm. the dressing is taken down, the incision can get wet. Mm -hmm. But again, that's gonna be after the post op, and they're mm -hmm. gonna go over this there. But you're gonna, you know, that's when you can get in the shower. Mm -hmm. But that soap, you know, run off of it. Mm -hmm. Obviously, you're not gonna pick off any of the skin glue. They just put that on there. Mm -hmm. Um, because it takes a lot. It actually starts flaking off. Mm -hmm. They don't want you picking at it. Um. The drains, and again, I'm going to show you how to empty them, mm -hmm. keep them supported, they're safety pins. You don't want mm -hmm. anything to accidentally pull them. Avoid pulling them out accidentally, of course mm -hmm. you would. You're going to clean the drain sites. I'll show you. So obviously you've got the drain site coming out of the skin. Mm -hmm. They mean clean that area with soap and water daily, just right around it. Mm -hmm. Use a Q-tip for if that's the easiest. Mm -hmm. um, and then dress it with an antibiotic ointment. Mm -hmm. Just little ointment. And they're saying gauze kind of hard to put gauze well you could if you cut it mm -hmm. you got to cut it um they want you to empty i'm going to show you how to strip it it's like it's almost like it reminds me of milking a cow not that i've ever done that mm -hmm. but you've got you know it's coming out of your skin you got this tubing and then it goes into that it looks like a hand grenade it really mm -hmm. does but where it ultimately drains into mm -hmm. you want to keep that at a suction and i'll show you how to do that because mm -hmm. it helps drain but stripping it, it's just kind of like, you're just kind of kind of pulling down like that, gently mm -hmm. pulling down on the, on the tube mm -hmm. that goes into the, the grenade part of it, I call it. Mm -hmm. But you're gonna record it daily, bring the record of each drain, well, each drain, in your case, one drain, mm -hmm. drainage with you to your office visit. Mm -hmm. Keep drain bulbs to a suction, it helps gravity pull excess drainage into the bulb. Um, if the drainage, it will change colors from deep red to pen, then straw colored, which is normal. You may also see little yellow strings in the drain tube, and that's normal too. But if it's thick, yellow, green, call, most drains can be removed when output is less than 20 cc's a day for two days in a row. You have dissolvable sutures, and sometimes they may have black or blue that will need, need to be removed. Typically, we use dissolvable. Um, so any questions about the dressing? Thank you. Drink the water anime. Drink the water. Drink the water anime. <laughs> you not be broken. I want some ginger ale. Huh? I want she said I can have some ginger ale. I want some. Excuse me. Can she have some ginger ale? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, that's a great idea. Yeah. Would you like one? Uh, sure. Oh, we have Pepsi. Ginger ale. Ginger ale. Okay. Thank you. Hello there. Oh. Did we do your riot? Yeah, I did. I feel good. Okay, you ready to get Nobody out of here? Nobody scraped my mouth. I don't. My throat is fine. My breasts are great. I'm sure. Can't see, but I'm sure that hand is very interesting that you got there. That's <laughs> Are you feeling ready to go home? Pain's under control? What would you give it on a scale of zero to ten? A four. A four? I actually feel much better today than I did the other day. And, and that's tolerable to you? Four? No nausea? Do you remember anything that happened in the OR? Um, Just going uh, to sleep? Other than y'all moving me in the bed, no. Okay. Mm. All righty. Well, good luck to you, okay? Thank you. I'll see you at work. Yes, sir. Mm. He really is going to see me at work because I'm getting off tell when I come back. I work with people who've done my pap smear, so I'm not worried about him seeing my teeth. You got that? So what I'm going to show you, okay, okay. this is it, okay, so you do this, I'm going to just keep it kind of covered like that, okay, so it is in suction, what you do, you're going to kind of 
pull that off. Mm -hmm. That's the actual little lid there on the top. Mm -hmm. It's hard to get every little drop, but mm -hmm. it's good enough. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, and the thing is, is you want to suction, so squeeze it, mm -hmm. and then put the little thing on, close the little red thing, cap it off, okay? So now it is providing suction. A few things, look at my boobs. I still have on my surgery shirt, because, yeah. Um, I actually feel much better after the second him going in. He didn't have to completely open my breast. He didn't have to completely like open everything up. He just had to, um, there's a suture at the bottom. He had to open that one out and wash it out. He said that it was like a hematoma, so it was like one blood clot. So he washed that out and then he put the drains in. I have emptied my drains twice now. And each time it's been less than about 15. So I think I'm really hopeful on Monday that I'll be able to take my drain out and then I'll be super sexy. Um, ignore my son walking by. He, he see on YouTube. Well, he don't know what I'm doing. And don't y'all come for his sexy body. Anywho, catch y'all in the next video. Oh, and the clip of my boobs, I couldn't. I was trying to make it where you couldn't see my nips, but it was real quick. Hopefully, y'all ain't YouTube don't ban me or nothing. All right. <laughs>